point of discussion is the civil service and youth engagement and how we can make it more attractive to younger folks like myself. Now, there's been a lot of talk recently about the digitization process of government. It is an initiative that we should embrace. However, embracing this process will see some shifts in, in how we, our whole jobs are become available going forward. The traditional government job, you know, where you could have probably had something, you know, that's a little handy job that will become no more, as I mentioned about automation and the process of making it technological. Uh, traditionally, the government used tools to reduce foreign purchases by either increasing taxes, so for example, the, the online tax on VAT. It's just a tool used to, to reduce spending on imports. The government also cuts its own spending, which would mean that we will not have access to the traditional goods and services in which we had access to in previous years. So given that the burden of taxation in 2018 was focused, and the focus in 2019 and 20 will probably be on further expenditure reduction within the civil service to bring it into equilibrium. In time, however, foreign inflows or foreign exchange may increase, but how soon that will occur depends on the effectiveness of policies of the Barbados government to increase external competitiveness within the economy. Between 2013 and 2017, Barbados fell from number 47 in the Global Competitiveness Rankings Report at number 72. Now, this mainly occurred because of weak government institutions and deteriorating government finances. However, investor confidence can expect, can expect it to be revived when there is evidence of public sector reform, improvement in public services, and improvement in the management of government finances. As I mentioned earlier, the early resolution, an early resolution of government's default on US dollar debt is very essential to restoring confidence in the